welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and this is the fifth video for bow and arrow game tutorial in the fourth uh, first video we have learned how to create this uh, design and we have created few macros also which we have assigned on this buttons let's say for play for reset for pause and now we are working on suit uh, macro we have created uh, for suit macro we have created this code and uh, in suit uh, when i will click on this suit button then an arrow will start moving here and there would be two condition one is uh, the arrow will miss the target and second will be the arrow will hit this target okay so we have created this code for when arrow will miss the target now we will create a code when arrow will miss uh, sorry arrow will hit the target okay so when arrow will hit the target then uh, we have another image here then this image should come in this position and this arrow should come in this position and this arrow uh, this image should come in this position and then gradually this image will go down in this uh, form to the ground okay so we will create this, that macro now so here uh, we will put a message box also for this is uh, for the missed target so we can put missed or missed target whatever you want to put the message so i'll create another uh, macro so we have put the condition here when the target is uh, hit by the arrow i'll put another macro drop apple okay so when uh, arrow will hit the apple then error uh, that uh, apple will be dropped so i'll create the macro here so i'll use this code same in this code we are assigning the worksheets and the shapes so now what i will do here i'll take first of all uh, ss dot range c2 c3 dot value equal to stop i'll stop arrow and apple arrow and apple from both will be stopped okay and i'll give the default position for arrow and apple so i'll take the default position from reset these are the default position for arrow and apple so i can copy this code from there and i'll put it here now i'll put this shape in this condition so if this is here and this is here then you can put it here so we can check check the condition of this shape from here okay so first of all let me message box sp dot top 218 so we can put sp dot top equal to 218 now we can message box sp dot left so sp is the this shape which is apple with arrow this one okay so we can see what is the left it is 528 so we can use sp dot left is 5 sorry 528 Now we will increase the uh, left and top gradually. Okay. So what I will do? I'll create a label here, like we have created in previous macros. X and here I will use VBA dot do events, and then I'll use SP dot top equal to SP dot top plus i'll take the same speed 
which I would I have taken for apple and uh, arrow. So I'll take sp dot top equal to ss dot range v2 dot value and similarly for sp dot left will be sp dot left plus v3 dot value okay now here i will put a condition if the top let's say once it will reached here or here okay then it will be invisible so it should stop so what i will do i'll put a comments comments here this one also now i'll get the sp dot top what is the top in current position of this shape it is 500 okay so we can remove the comments now now we'll put the condition sp dot top is greater than 500 then and if then what will happen so first of all it will increase a number in apple count here d2 sh dot range d2 dot value equal to ss dot range d2 dot value value plus one okay and second it will exit the macro and here i will repeat this go to x okay friends now i have created this macro for drop apple and i will call this macro in suit wherein we have hit the target i can keep this macro here call drop apple and hit then again i put call play game okay friends so let's check now let me save this so i will assign this suit on this assign shoot now let's check let me put the speed as low play game then i will shoot okay i have not let me pause this first of all i haven't removed the message box from where it is it is here okay let me remove this now play and shoot so you can see a drop here and you will see the hit and one apple has been increased and game will start again then again i will shoot but if you will see arrow has not decreased okay we have one apple but arrow should nine so we have to do that also now we have missed the target now arrow has decreased but when uh, we hit the target then arrow is not decreasing so what i will do i'll go to the drop apple and here we are increasing the apple and we should decrease d3 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 is the arrow count minus one all which d3 is the error count. yeah this one okay now check let me change the speed as medium play suit 
suit okay we missed the target then arrow has uh, decreased reset this now what i will do i'll put up this all tpp and i'll click on unlock cells so just make sure, sure there is no checkbox should be selected and you can put password whatever you want to put i'm not putting any password here so i'll pressing ok but friend if you will see uh, here apple is coming from up of this tree so let me reset this and let me unprotect this so what i will do i'll copy of this tree and i'll go to the format and i'll crop this like that I'll go to the format i'll put on crop now i will keep this like that now click on play then you will see uh, apple is coming from the tree right now i'll i will protect this again i'm not putting any password let's play it again so it's working reset this so only when we will click on shoot just make sure as uh, if i will click on shoot then reset this just make sure game should be in play state so i'll put a condition here on shoot two condition basically here i can put first game should be in play state game will be in play state when apple is moving so here should be move in status c2 column so if c ss dot range c2 dot value e sorry value equal to stop then it will give a message please click on play first and then it will exit and if so friends we can shoot an apple when apple is in moving condition only okay and then i'll put another uh, condition if we don't have any arrow then the arrow count is zero let's say we have spent all the arrows then if we, it will check ss dot range d3 okay dot value equal to zero then it will give another message you do not have any arrow okay and we can put another line bblf and bblf for the new line and then please click on the set button we have not put an sign here and here also okay then exit serve and then and if so let's say i if i don't have any arrow zero then if i will click on play then game will start but when i will click on suit then it will give me a message please click on play first why it is giving so i think okay i have taken c3 i should take c2 c2 is for c2 is for apple movement so apple is moving okay so now let's check now play then suit so ss dot d3 
taken end here we should take ampersand sign okay now let's check if i will click on play I'll click on suit now reset this if the arrow count is zero let's say then play and click on suit then it will give you don't have any arrow please click on reset button when i will click on reset button then i have 10 arrow and i'll click on play then i click on suit so that's how it will work reset so now last option is for the exit the game we can create a small macro for this here sub exit game so we'll create this workbook dot close and save changes as false now unprotected right click and assign macro assign exit game so friends i'm, I'm protecting this again the game is ready you can download this excel file from my google drive i'll give the link in video's description box please practice this thank you so much for the watching